How many times have you locked your keys inside a car or lost your keys to your home? We have all been there. But that unfortunate situation has cost one homeowner a lot of money and a lot of frustration. Now, one locksmith wants some change. WBTV Sharon Smith has that story, all new at 6. Sharon? Yeah, hey Paul, so I learned today that if you lock your keys in the car in South Carolina, that locksmith who you pay doesn't have to have a license. But if it happens here in North Carolina, they better have a license. Still though, with all those protections in place, there's still some scammers out there. <laughs> Locksmiths often respond in our hour of need. For Charlotte Wise, it was right before leaving town that she noticed some missing house keys. So I thought I, I better get them get them changed before I go on vacation. Wise did and paid $1,000 for what she calls a bad job. He, he spent the afternoon changing the locks and I I should have checked them, okay, but I didn't. The receipt had no company info. Her complaints went unanswered, so she tried another locksmith she found online. I was on vacation up in the mountains, and she called me up pretty frantic, and she was upset about what had just happened to her, and she said, well, I just had a locksmith leave here. George Rice takes pride in his job as a licensed, bonded, and insured locksmith. It's plain to see. That license number lets them know that they're dealing with a legitimate licensed locksmith. He fixed Wise's locks and hears about locksmith scams often. The Associated Locksmiths of America is pushing for more state regulations to guarantee background checks and training and prevent more scams. For now, Rice says it's all about educating the consumer to search out reviews through several websites, Yelp, Angie's List, and the Better Business Bureau are a few. Also, ask for documents on that insurance and bonding. Check their work. Wise will be more careful next time. Well, it's like night and day. You know, and that's when I felt so silly. Like, why didn't I check these things? I mean, it would have just been a Google search, you know, what to do when the locksmith comes, that kind of thing. It didn't, it really wouldn't take that much of an effort to educate myself. And she's being a little hard on herself there. Wise was pretty smart to stop payment on her credit card. She found out more information about this out of state company. She also called the attorney general's office to complain. She's go going to file a report with the BBB, which is important to get all of this on the record. For now, we're live in Charlotte. Sharon Smith, WBTV, on your side. Sharon, we have posted more information on what to look for on our website. Go to WBTV.com.